Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Purchases Receive Inventory window lets you enter purchases from vendors and also enter inventory received from purchase orders. Like the Sales Invoicing screen, there are two tabs into which you can input information, the Apply to Purchase Order Number tab and the Apply to Purchases tab. To access the Purchases Receive Inventory window, select Tasks, Purchases, Receive Inventory from the menu bar. Select the Vendor's ID from the Vendor ID field at the top of the form to show their open purchase orders on the Apply to Purchase Order Number tab. If the vendor has no open purchase orders, then the Apply to Purchases tab moves forward instead. At the top of this window is an Invoice Number field where you can enter the invoice number for the vendor's bill. This can be left blank if the invoice wasn't received with the items. Just make sure that the Waiting on Bill checkbox is selected instead. Enter the date of the vendor's bill into the Invoice Date field. You should also see the vendor's name and address and your name and address at the top too. If the received shipment is fulfilling a purchase order and you are using the form to indicate you received inventory, the account is assigned on the purchase order. For all other purchases, it defaults to the last AP account used on a purchase transaction. You select the Apply to Purchases tab to enter purchased items that are not associated with a purchase order. You can also place items you received but didn't order in the purchase order on this tab too. When a vendor without open purchase orders is selected, this tab automatically appears. Here you enter the quantity, item, description, general ledger account, unit price, and amount for the items you purchased or received in addition to the items shipped from a purchase order. You select the Apply to Purchase Order tab to receive items against open purchase orders. This tab automatically appears when you select vendors with one or more open purchase orders. First, select which purchase order to receive against by using the drop-down after the Apply to Purchase Order label. All open purchase orders for the selected vendor appear here. This tab shows the items ordered in the selected purchase order, the number remaining to be shipped, the number received, the description, the general ledger account, the unit price, and the line item amount. After entering the items and quantities, you can enter the serial numbers for serialized stock items within the line items area. To do this, select your first serialized stock item in the line items area and then click the serial number button in the toolbar at the top of the window to open the serial number entry dialog box. Enter the first serial number into the enter a serial number to add field. If the serial numbers you need to add are consecutively numbered, you can check the add blank consecutive serial numbers checkbox and then enter the number of consecutive serial numbers into the adjacent field. After entering a serial number, click the add button to add it into the list of serial numbers. Then repeat this process until you finish entering all the serial numbers for the items. The total count of serial numbers you need to add for the selected item appears at the bottom of the window. When finished, click the OK button to return to the Purchases Receive Inventory window, or click the OK slash Next button to move to the next serialized stock item for which you need to enter serial numbers. This lets you not have to close and reopen this dialog box for each item. At the bottom of this window are fields that affect the balance. The Other Payments and Credits field shows the sum of all payments applied to this invoice. This doesn't include any payments entered in the Amount Paid at Purchase field. The Amount Paid at Purchase field lets you make a full or partial payment when you receive the items. You then enter a reference and GL account used to pay the bill. The Invoice Total shows the sum of all lines on the purchase invoice and the net due shows the calculated value based on the invoice total minus the amount paid at purchase. Also notice the copy button in the toolbar at the top of the window. You can click the drop down arrow that appears next to this button and then select the create recurring command from the drop down menu to create a recurring purchase if needed. For any purchases that you choose to make in a recurring manner, 
You can create the purchase once and then have it recur in this and future time periods by selecting the frequency with which to automatically have this purchase recur in the Create Recurring Purchases dialog box. After setting the purchase frequency, click OK to create the future purchase in Sage 50. This can save time when creating purchases you always make at the same time within a period from the same vendor. To record the purchase or inventory received when you are finished, simply click the Save button in the Windows toolbar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.